fuck. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for The Witcher, the first season of the new show on Netflix, and I'm very torn about this. In fact, I actually had to watch this almost from front to back twice just to get it. The Witcher is obviously based off of the novel series, which gave the video game series a huge acclaim. I have tried to play the second one and the third one, and I don't know, I just can't get into them, but I can understand the huge popularity for them. And obviously that translated over into the show because it's a huge hit. Henry Cavill seems to be a really big fan of it. Biggest thing about this show that everyone had a big problem with, which was Henry Cavill, he's proven to be one of the best parts about it. I don't really know the character at all, but he gives a great performance in this show. Clearly no what the show is about he is a fan of the material you see that from all the interviews except it's not entirely about him and that's probably my biggest drawback from this show is its narrative as individual episodes i actually enjoy them like little short stories i did enjoy most of the episodes of this season i enjoyed the characters i enjoyed the writing the yennefer character especially how she becomes a sorceress and her later on the show admittedly once she became a sorceress she kind of became a little bit less interesting her journey to becoming a full-on sorceress was the best part of this show. The other really great part about this season, I would say, is the third episode where Geralt takes on the Striga, which that whole story, the entire conflict, the, the climax of that story, really, really well done. But as a whole, this thing is a mess. And that's because the showrunner is the same showrunner for The Defenders. You know, the supposed Avengers of the TV Marvel shows completely fail to be anything other than a while there are some improvements, mainly with bringing you into the characters and giving cool, interesting facts and really well-written dialogue with these characters, the overall narrative is still a weak point for her. This goes all over the place. The first episode, really, in the timeline, should be viewed as the seventh episode. And the second episode is the first episode. But then the sixth episode goes back to the first, all over the place. Trying to watch this medially is hard. Trying to watch it with subtitles and actually full on paying attention to it was a bit difficult, especially with the Siri character. Siri is meant to be something much more from what I've gathered from this show as well as the books and the, sh and the video games, but her story is so boring. You could say her quest, her search for Geralt is kind of similar to that of Danny trying to build up her army to go back to Westeros, but at least something's happening. Every time Ciri comes back to the story, everything grinds to a halt. She is the most boring part about this entire show, even especially with the mage weird changeling thing. That part was so horrible. There's some actors in this who are really great, obviously the main cast. All the secondary actors are almost horrible though. If you re-watch the first episode where Geralt's killing all those guys and then he stabs that dude into the door, the stuntman is just like until Geralt cuts his head off. Another part that's very weak for me for the show is the lighting. There is so much rich fantasy lore in this. There are so many cool costumes, the ideas of the characters, the lore, and the world that they are building. Yet it's shot like a goddamn Hallmark movie. This is such a boring show to watch from a lighting perspective. I watched a single episode of The Handmaid's Tale and they showed a character in a bedroom and that was better lit than the entirety of this show. The lighting is so telling that by the end of the first episode I had to bet that this was either shot in Czech Republic or Poland. More of those Eastern European shows don't have as much budget and as much production value as ones over in Western Europe or in North America do, so obviously that bleeds into the show. But aside from those negatives, the characters are really well done. Henry Cavill clearly has a passion for this project. He is very entertaining every time he's on the screen. Him and the Bard have great chemistry. Gerald himself is actually a really cool, intricate character. Yennefer really is more so the main person, I would say, of this show. She has a fantastic arc. It gets a little bit dull later on, but I did find her just as intriguing, if not more so than Gerald. Everything else that's kind of happening on the side is just circumstantial. These two are the ones who are clearly building the way towards the second season, which will be stronger. I can only hope that it will be. They're going to take these notes and they're going to improve on it in the second season. Build a narrative that is one whole narrative. If you're going to do this multi-narrative bullshit, do it better. You have to be more clear about it because there's some times where I didn't even realize we went back in time and all of a sudden there was a character there going, wait, what? 
I didn't even realize we were there. Essentially, they just need to have a much more clear narrative for the story to progress so that there aren't any dead spots like Siri's entire story arc, just a more entertaining narrative. Otherwise, I still feel that The Witcher is good. I do enjoy a lot of episodes. The song, by God, is so entertaining, but it still has a lot of problems. It definitely needs some better cinematography and it needs a better structure. So in the end, I'm gonna give the first season of The Witcher a three out of seven. It's okay. It has good episodes, but the final episode is such a mess. The finale is so badly put together. But again, it does give me hope that the second season will be a lot better. I do have faith that the second season will be a lot better. She made the defender. She has to realize that she fucked up there too. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. And one other little thing, could someone please tell me what makes The Witcher game so fun? I am trying to play this game, but it's it's kind of boring. Ugh. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.